Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this Gigi inspired makeup look. It's basically super natural and glowy and very bronzed. Um, I gotta admit, I did use a lot of products creating this look. Um, but I'm gonna tell you guys if they're optional or not. Um, and just to let you guys know, I did use a lot of products, but I didn't use a lot of the product, if that makes sense. So there's not that much makeup on my face, there's just a bunch of different products, if that makes sense to you guys. Uh, so I'm using the Laura Mercier um, primer, and this is the Radiance one, and I'm putting that all over my face. It kind of has a little bit of shimmer in it, so it makes the skin nice and glowy. And then from NARS, I'm taking this liquid highlight, and I'm just putting it in spots that I would typically highlight. You don't need this step, but it's kind of nice to have it under your foundation, and it makes everything nice and glowy. Um, but then again, it's kind of like a base for my powder highlight. As well as I posted this look on my Instagram and you guys loved how my shoulders also looked so shiny and so glowy. And I basically put that liquid highlighter on top on my um, collarbone as well as on my shoulders. Then I'm mixing my Too Faced Born This Way. I'm in natural beige as well as um, this oil. It's like a face oil. I'm not exactly sure where it's from. I'll leave it down below. But I did two drops of the face oil and like a pump and a half of my foundation. And that's going to kind of make it look more natural as well as like definitely more dewy and glowy. I would have used my RCMA foundation, but my friend actually got a black eye. So he ran to my house and grabbed my foundation so he could cover it up. So. Well, that is why I do not have that foundation. Um, but I'm blending it out with a beauty blender for a few reasons. A, because I love my beauty blender, but not only that is it does suck up some product, so it's going to make it look a little more natural, as well as the beauty blender is supposed to give you that kind of flawless look, that like airbrushed look, which she definitely has, but making it not look super cakey. So I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm using one pump and I use that one pump for my full face. Um, I squish my fingers together and that half goes kind of like in the areas I'm putting it in now. And then the other half I'll squish my fingers together again and I'm going to just put that under my eyes. And then I'm going to be blending out with a beauty blender as well. And as you guys can see here, I was kind of obsessing over my shoulder highlight. I loved it so much. Oh my god. Okay, so then I'm using my mascara, that is the company name, um, Cream Contour. Um, this is on my foundation, I don't have any powders on. And I'm kind of putting that on first to warm up my face just so I don't have to pile on a lot of bronzer, like powders, to get the same look. Um, in the sense of like this I feel like would look a little more natural using a lot of creams than piling on a bunch of powders. This part is optional, but this is just something that I like to do sometimes. I feel like it's not going to look as cakey. I don't really know if it does look more cakey when I just use powders, but we will be using powders later as well. So now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. I know you guys have been requesting me to do my eyebrow routine forever and I keep meaning to do it. I actually did record a video when I recorded my Kylie Jenner New Year's Eve makeup look, but I hated the way it turned out. I really, really didn't like it. So unfortunately I had to delete that um, and not upload it because I was just like, this is not going on the internet. So I'm doing it a little bit here now. Gigi kind of has kind of natural brushed out eyebrows. That's personally how I kind of like to do my eyebrows now. Eyebrows. <laughs> That's usually how I like to do my eyebrows now. So I'm just filling it in the places I feel like I actually need it to be filled in. Um, and then afterwards I take my concealer. I just go on the bottoms of my eyebrows. If you guys need to go on the top, I would recommend hardly having any products on your brush if done. Um, just so you don't have that kind of like concealer line on the top of your eyebrow, which I have been 
hating recently when people do that. Sorry if you do that, but I just have not been liking it. Um, but if you do kind of want an area to be fixed on the top, I usually just go over with either a clean brush and usually it just kind of wipes away. Um, but yeah. And then after that, I'm just taking a clear eyebrow gel. And this is, as you can see, I was quite excited with my finger up thinking this is the like basically main part for her look for her eyebrows is to brush them up to make them look very hairy in a sense but very natural next I'm gonna be using my Mac prep and prime translucent powder I honestly use just a little bit everywhere I put my concealer for some reason it's looking like I used a lot Personally, I would not use this powder for photography. I feel like it's given me horrible flashback. Um, even when I like hardcore dust everything off, like really buff into my skin and brush it all off with a clean brush. Um, I wasn't planning on taking many photos with flash today, so I didn't really mind if I was using it. It is perfect for videos and like movies and stuff, um, but I just haven't really found for photos anyways. So now from Painted Earth Cosmetics, I'm gonna be using this powder and I'm honestly using the tiniest bit. Like I was touching my face to see if my face was still wet, to see if I needed a tiny bit more, but I didn't really wanna overdo the powders at all. And then I'm taking my Hula Bronzer, which has been one of my favorites so far. Um, and I'm basically kind of contouring my face with it. She does kind of have like a warm contour bronze look on her face, but I will be going in with a cool tone bronzer afterwards. Now, I don't want any tears here. I had like a few tears and broke. So my Kat Von D palette, as you guys know, basically I've used almost all of it up. Um, and I broke my cool toned bronzer in it and I was so sad. So I tried that trick where I um, used rubbing alcohol and put it all together, but I did smush it enough. Smush it, smush it. So um, it basically came out lumpy. And this is my first time using it, so I didn't know if it was gonna work or not, or if the consistency would be weird, but it worked all good. And I'm basically just contouring the places I wanna contour, my nose, my cheekbones, and under my jawline. I already bronzed my forehead enough, and even though I do have a big forehead, I just didn't really wanna bronze it. I mean, contour it. <laughs> and now I'm using the Sun Basque Blush. I did go a little heavy on the blush, but I did also blend it out afterwards. It's like a nice orangey kind of bronzed blush. Um, definitely one of my favorites. And then I'm just buffing it out after. So this part is also optional. Well, really honestly, anything in this video is optional. You can take and leave whatever you want. But this is Gold Deposit from MAC. It's kind of like a highlight. Um, and it's just kind of like a bronzy highlight a little bit. This isn't the main highlight we're going to be using. I think we've used a few so far anyways. You only honestly need one, but I really wanted this to be super, super dewy. So this is the Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics. This is the main highlighter that I would recommend getting. Um, I put it on my cheekbones, under my brows, in the corners of my eyes, just above my eyebrow, top of the lip, and on the tip of my nose, and kind of a tiny bit down the bridge as well. Um, so yeah, I kind of like highlighted everything. I am now using this fluffy blending brush from Morphe and I'm using this Tarte blush and I'm using the Tarte blush to put in my crease. Kind of like a transition color. I think using blushes in your eyeshadow really gives the whole eyeshadow look a really pretty look. Um, and afterwards, I believe this is called Saddle. It's from MAC and it's a very warm tone brown, like a medium light brown. And I'm just putting that in my crease as well. This is the Too Faced Glitter Insurance Glitter Glue. I love using this for any of my eyeshadows, especially foiled eyeshadows or pigments. And I put it on my eye. It's not like an eyelash glue at all. It's kind of just like an eyeshadow base, basically. And I'm using In the Spotlight by Makeup Geek. It is a foiled eyeshadow, and I'm just putting that on my eyeballs.
And after that, I'm taking a little bit of that saddle eyeshadow, the kind of warm tone brown that we used in our crease, and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line a bit. And I'm gonna quickly curl on my eyelashes and add mascara off screen. And lastly, I'm gonna be putting kind of like this flesh tone, white-ish eye pencil, eye pencil, eyeliner. I don't know why I couldn't think of that, um, but this one is from Sigma. So for my lips, I'm gonna be using this lip liner as well as Honey Pot from MAC. Now I'm gonna be first lining my lips and then applying Honey Pot on top. Um, you could have definitely left Honey Pot. Um, I kind of wanted it to be a little bit lighter and a little more nude, so I added Creme de Nude by MAC on top as well as a gloss on top, um, which that's a lot of lipsticks and you don't really need all of them. Um, but, you know, I was doing it for the look. Okay, so one more thing, um, a very last thing, I'm going to be using MAC Prep and Prime. This is going to help set your foundation, but not only that, it's going to get rid of all kind of like the powders on your face so it doesn't look cakey and it looks a nice and dewy. But yeah, that's the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you like these kind of tutorials, um, as well as I got new lighting. So tell me if you like kind of the setup and the lighting of my room. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later and thanks so much for staying to the end.